What did you learn? What are the, the, the key components of good speech writing? So I think there are really three key components of good speech writing. The first one is talk like a person, <laughs> which I know just seems like so obvious, but I think so often in government, at least, you get these politicians who are so dynamic and charismatic, and then they get up behind a podium and they're like, we need to put hardworking American middle class family values first. Like, what does that even mean? That's not, those aren't words, that doesn't go together as a sentence. Or I think in the business or nonprofit world, you get a lot of like, we need to use our platform to catalyze transformational change to leverage <laughs> results-oriented outcomes. Guys, no one has ever said the words catalyze, platform, or, or like, transform, like, people do not say that to their friends. No one has ever sat down with their spouse and been like, you know, honey, I just think we need to put hardworking American middle class family values first, right? I mean, don't you? You don't talk like that. That is definitely my dinner conversation. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean. <laughs> who talks that way? So you just like talk like a human being, talk like yourself. Don't use the $75 word because it thinks you, make, you think it makes you sound smart. It just makes you incomprehensible. That's number one. Also, number two, say something true. Again, seems so obvious, but. This is, but generally when people are giving a speech, the first question they ask themselves is, what will make me sound smart or powerful or witty? Or what does the audience want to hear? Fine questions, but those should not be your first question. Your first question should be, what is the deepest, most important truth I can tell at this particular moment? Okay, it's not your, not your ending point, that's your starting point. You may have to filter, translate, whatever, but you really need to get at what is the deeper truth you're trying to speak on that day. And you know what? Maybe it's an edgy truth. Maybe it's an uncomfortable truth. Good, right? You look at how Barack Obama started out his 2004 convention speech, you know, the one that launched him into national fame. He got up on the stage and said, let's face it, my presence on this stage tonight is pretty unlikely. Now, everyone in the audience is thinking this, right? What is he saying basically, let's face it, it's unlikely that a black guy named Barack Hussein Obama is the keynote speaker at a major party convention. And he, like, he named this truth, and then he just kind of owned it. And it was like, I mean, it just struck me as this really powerful moment. So say something true. And then the last thing I'll say is just show, don't tell. So often when a speech is boring, it is because someone is just regaling you with a list of adjectives. So you know, Mrs. Obama could have started out her 2016 DNC speech by saying, when we moved to the White House, I was worried it would be hard for my girls. I was scared that they would struggle to adjust. I was nervous about this new life. Scared, worried, nervous, blah, blah, right? Blah, 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 you don't remember, I don't remember, we've forgotten, it didn't happen. Instead, what she said, she told this story about the first day of school for her daughters, where she you know, packed them into these big SUVs with these big men with guns and saw their little faces pressed up against the window and thought, what have I done? Okay, that's an image, right? She's showing you. She didn't tell you I was nervous and scared and worried. You got it, right? Because you're in the story with her. So I think, you know, ditch the list of adjectives and really focus on concrete, specific images.